Okay, let's get started. In this video, I wanna give you a quick tip on how do you access your DSBS profile fields so you can update that profile when you can't get access through sam.gov or if you forgot where it was at. So just giving you a reminder, um, your small business profile in the federal government contracting space is made up of your sam.gov profile and your dynamic small business search fields, this SBA small business profile. So together they make up your small business profile and to, or, to change your DSBS fields, you go all the way through sam.gov's uh, pages. You just keep clicking next, next, next till you get to the very end. The last page has a submit button. Before you hit submit, look right above that submit button. You should see another button that leads you to the small business administration or small business pages. And um, that's one of the best ways to do it. You get direct access and the, and the linkage between the two systems is real time. But if you would like an alternate way that doesn't require you to spend 15 minutes clicking through sam.gov and having to update that profile just to update these pages, come over here to this tool called the general login system. Eventually it'll be wrapped into some of these newer tools, but right now it still exists and it still is there to be able to help you get access to certain things like a HubZone application, or more importantly to this video, the dynamic small business search fields that you wanna populate like keywords and capability narrative and your experience. If you don't have an account, come over here on the left-hand side. Right here, you'll see create new SBA GLS account. When you click on it, you'll get a form that looks like this. It asks you two basic questions. Are you an 8A applicant right here at the top? And at the bottom, it asks you, are you a federal employee? Answer no to both of those. And then fill in the basic login, identity, and contact information um, for yourself. Like I put in uh, a fake birthday and a fake pin, things like that right now as in a fake address as I'm doing the video. And then I'll just go in and um, either delete this account or change the account so it actually reflects the, my true data. So when you hit submit here at the bottom for this form, you'll get an email pretty quickly from SBA with a temporary password. So then I would log in with GovCon Neil and the temporary password. The system automatically has you reset your password to something more secure. When you do that, you're brought into the general login system. You immediately get access to nothing, right? So you, you have to request access and um, they'll have to approve it. So the way you do that is up here on the top, you see a menu system with some buttons. Find the one that says access and click on it. And when it loads, you'll see several options you have, and I'm not going to explain them to you, but you'll notice like the hub zone. Uh, if you want to apply for a hub zone, you can click on that one. But the one you really want to pay attention to for this video is ProNet DSBS, because that's the one where you can sit there and request the SBA supplemental pages. And this, this little window that pops up just telling you it'll take a few days to get you approved. But you want to fill out this part that says SBA supplemental pages because you're asking for access to the extra pages that would make up your small business profile. The only other piece of information you need to add is a DUNS number. So you put your DUNS number in. When you hit submit, it'll take a few days for them to get back to you. But when they do, you'll then see um, that you have access to the supplemental pages for that company's with the DUNS number that you entered. And from here, you can go straight into the fields for keywords, capabilities, narrative, um, uh, the special equipment, the extra fields, the I think some of the principles that you might wanna put in there. There's a fair amount of fields in there that you can do. And now you don't have to go through all the sam.gov um, click-through activity. So if you found the content valuable, others will too, please give it a thumbs up so they can find it. If you'd like to connect with me personally, do so on LinkedIn. We often do free training webinars and interview federal buyers. Sign up for the GovCon Chambers email list to be notified about these opportunities right here at www.govconchamber.com. And then finally, please consider becoming a sustaining member of the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Help us keep bringing you great content like this for a dollar a day. I'm Neil McDonald, wishing you great success.